First thing that I want to do is prepare my wires before I start making my flowers. So usually what I do is I gather several of them at the same time once they're cut. These are little 26 gauge wires. And I'm just going to take my pliers, I'm going to line up the wires together and just grab the top. And in two motions, I'm going to fold over first. And what that does is create an open hook. And then I'm going to take my pliers and squeeze it shut so the hooks are closed. And then you can just set those aside in your styrofoam until you're ready to use them. So to start making your flour, we want to start with a very small ball of paste. And generally you want to keep your flowers on the small delicate side, but we also really like variation because grouping them together makes them look a lot more natural. Start with a small ball. I'm going to roll it into a narrow cone. I'm going to take my cone tool. I'm going to open up the top. I'm going to push in just about a quarter to a third of an inch. Open up the hole. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut five petals. As evenly spaced as you can. And then open up the flower. I'm going to press the corners to just round them a little bit so they're not square. And then use my thumb and my finger to flatten each one. Now don't worry if your petals aren't all exact. Mine never are. And don't throw away any that you think are a little bit off because um, we want to create as many as we can. And remember all of those little things that we don't like, they're going to disappear when you put a whole bunch of them together. Then I'm going to turn this upside down on my foam pad. And with a little small ball tool, I'm just going to press each petal very quickly to cup it on the underside. And I'm going to take one of my wires Feed it down through the center just until the wire disappears under the surface, creating kind of a li tiny little hole for our royal icing. And then just gently use your fingers to attach the base. Another great little variation of the filler flower is if you start the same way, get um, the, to the point where your petals are nice and flat, we can make a cup version just by working on the petals on the top side. So we're going to put the ball tool and just press and cup each petal on the top. And that makes a great little kind of closed, a little bit more closed version of the filler flower. And just insert your wire the same way. Pull it through just until it disappears under the surface. And then taper the back side and twist off any excess paste. I have some royal icing already made just in a tiny little piping bag. So the consistency you want to use is just runny enough that you're not going to leave any points in the centers of the flowers. But if you do, you can always go back with just a damp paintbrush and dab them so uh, those centers look nice and smooth. So I've made my royal icing in just a real pale yellow, which um, is great, I think, in the centers of the white flowers. And it's really versatile. Like really, that combination goes great with a lot of other flowers and leaves. And real quick way to um, kind of get the job done, just leave all of your dried flowers in the styrofoam and then you can just hop from one to the next with your piping bag and you can fill them really quickly. So all I want to do is just get the tip of that bag right down into that little center hole we created and fill with a nice little drop of royal icing. Just make sure once you've piped your royal icing, that you give it a chance to dry fully before you use your flowers, just in case when you're putting your filler flowers into a little hole, if you need to kind of touch the top surface when you're pushing it into a little um, gap, that that royal icing is already nice and dry. Also have a couple other great little color variations here. Remember, you don't have to make them in white. Um, I have some purple and pale blue and even pink. Again, you can choose your color to go with the other flowers that you have. Sometimes the other pastels look really great for baby shower cakes, um, or you may just um, have a really great color theme that you want to work with. So feel free to play around with the different colors and have fun with it. Mm -hmm.